Oh. My. This came broken. Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Kylie Cosmetics relaunch. If you have not heard, Kylie Cosmetics recently reformulated all their products to be vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, and paraben-free, and also more long-lasting. So here's the cutest little pink box that it came in with. It just says Kylie, Kylie Jenner, then a little card, some pink bubble wrap, and, oop, and then in here we have all of the products. As you can see, there are a lot of products in here. There's a lip kit, there are some lip glosses, there's a blush, highlighter, bronzer, another blush, some brow products, some gel eyeliners, and a liquid lipstick. One thing that I must mention though, this liquid lipstick was sent to me on accident, which would sound like a good thing, but they sent it to me instead of the liquid eyeliner that I ordered, which I was like so sad about, because first of all, I wanted to review it for you guys, so I emailed customer service, which they were really quick to reply, but it sold out. The eyeliner sold out, so they literally cannot send me a replacement because it's sold out, so they don't have any more, but there still is a lot more, and once I do get my hands on the eyeliner, I can put it in another video, or maybe like an Instagram story. So let's begin with my brows, because they, I, they look gross. We can't deal with that right now. So here is the packaging for the brow pencil. I bought it in medium brown. Okay, really cute. Obviously the brand goes for the pink vibe. So here's a little pencil. It comes with a spoolie, which I actually love these kind of like smaller, denser spoolies, just because I find that they like, don't break as easily. Okay, now let me open the pencil. It is pretty, pretty thin. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a pretty thin pencil. It is like the round tip. It's not the triangle tip. Before moving on with my brows, I just want to like do it on my hand. Um, that's kind of how much color payoff comes off. Let me compare it with my everyday Anastasia. This is in dark brown, so obviously it's gonna be darker. But do you see how much darker that is? So it feels like the Kylie Cosmetics brow pencil is more waxy. I always like to start at the end of my brows. It definitely isn't as like creamy as the Anastasia. I feel like this one you have to go over it a couple more times. See here, I usually like to straighten out my brow a little bit, and usually with the Anastasia, I just do one tiny line, then you're done, but with this one, I'm having to go over it several, several times. Okay, so I'm done with both brows. I do really, really like the color, but like at the end of my brow, I'm still not getting that pigmentation. I'm not living for it. It is too waxy of a formula. It's a little hard. I wish it was a little creamier. And I forgot to mention this retails for $16, which is $7 less than the Anastasia, but you can get brow pencils for $2 that are creamier than this. So this hasn't been my favorite. Okay, next up, this is the Kylie Cosmetics Kai Brow Brightener. It literally looks like a crayon. You're supposed to put this under your brows to brighten. This is is the shade medium and in the matte formula they also have a shimmering one but I don't love to put a lot of shimmeries under my eyebrows oh no that like matches my hand perfectly which is a little bit of an issue it said this is the shade she uses which I thought would work for me okay let's try this again like you can see where I'm putting it but I think I would have to get the light shade but the formula is really really creamy do you see how easily that is blending out you just kind of tap over it um, I, I like it. And also, this one retails for $17. Next up, let's try the eyeliner. Again, this is a little sad. I really do wish I had the liquid eyeliner so I could do a pretty wing. But I did order a gel eyeliner in the matte black. I do love going in with these to like put in here. And usually within like 10 minutes, they're under my eye, they're out of my eye. So by the end of the video, I'll give you a review if this stayed. Okay, I zoomed you guys back in so you can see how I actually put this on. Basically what I do is I just pull up my eyelid. You can also do this on the bottom, but I like putting a black on the top. One swipe of this throughout your eyelid should be good enough. And I like this so far. We're gonna have to see kind of how it lasts. But the initial application, I really, really like this formula. It went on really easy and it's really pigmented and really, really black and it feels comfortable in the eye it doesn't feel heavy and it's not like stinging my eye or anything that you should be aware of okay now let's move on to face products and honestly I'm more excited for the face products especially the blushes Kylie is known for her beautiful pink blush and I actually have an old formula that we can kind of compare it to I do usually go in with my bronzer before blush so I take that back we're gonna use the bronzer now and then we'll test out the blush here is the packaging for the bronzer. As you can see, it's like matte and then it has a glossy like drip over it. I absolutely love this packaging. It is so, so, so beautiful. And this is the shade 300 that is called Toasty. Of course, the pink component, which compared to the old component, is a little darker. I don't know if it's catching on camera. And then obviously it looks smaller, but it's also thicker. The old blush and bronzers, I believe, came in 0.26 ounces, and this one comes in 0.35. So it's almost 0.10 um, ounces more. 
I kind of like the bigger mirror in the older component, but this component feels like it's gonna like last longer. And then also on the mirror, do you see that Kylie thing? That is not a sticker. That is not on the old one. And they both work. You're not really gonna be using this mirror. I feel like you'd use it for your brows, maybe not for your face. Mm, nothing significant. If you're getting more product, that's all you need. And this bronzer retails for $18, which is a good price for the amount of product you're getting in it. I'm just gonna grab a really big bronzer brush that I use like every single day for bronzer. And I'm gonna dip into here. There is not a lot of kickback in the pan. That is when the like powder kind of like comes up and goes everywhere. I'm gonna tap that off and just kind of like swirl it around. Oh, that's a really pretty color. It's a really good amount of pigment. A lot of bronzers are either overpigmented or underpigmented. The underpigmented ones you have to use so much that you end up looking so powdery. And the overpigmented ones is scary to use because if you like touch it and put it on your face, it's gonna look like mud. But as you can see, this one, yeah, I love, I love, love, love. This is a good bronzer. It looks beautiful. And on the skin, it looks so, so pretty. It doesn't look patchy, it doesn't look splotchy, it doesn't look too powdery, it doesn't look like ugly. And it's really, really cute. I love, love, love the pink packaging. Okay, now the product that I'm literally most excited to try out is her blush. I bought two shades. I bought the shade Winter Kissed and I bought the shade Pink Dreams. My old blush is in the shade Pink Power, so I meant to get the same pink shade to compare them but I didn't. So let's open Pink Dreams first. The Unicurtain is the same as the bronzer. Again, this really, really cute protector. Yeah, literally the same component. Here is the old and the new, you can see. But let's like feel around both. So the old one is a little rough. When you swatch it, it's a little chalky. This one feels way creamier. Oh, and when you put it on, yeah, way, way, way more pigmentation. This one feels creamier on the finger, but let's see it on the face. We can try, oh, there is a lot of kickback. The bronzer did not have that, but do you see that? And look what's gonna happen when I tap it off. A lot of kickback and a lot of powder coming off, which does usually indicate high pigmentation, but I just wanted to mention that because some people are bothered by it. Oh, that is so pretty. I think I went in with a little too much. Got a little excited, a little flustered. I'm gonna tap it off the beauty blender, oh my god. The like pinky blush thing is like really blowing up now. So instead of paying for the Dior one, get this one. This is also $18. I'm obsessed with that shade. Now let's try Winter Kissed. This one looks like it's more cool toned. Yeah, this one almost looks purpley. I'm gonna wipe off my brush. Let's dip into her. It weirdly seems like there's less kickback. Hmm. This one seems like it's a little less pigmented, but on the skin, it looks really, really pretty and smooth again, and I am definitely gonna be using these as my favorite blushes. These are so gorgeous, and the pink colors are really pretty. Okay, next up, I bought one of her highlighters. This is the shade Ice Me Out. I got all the Kylie's favorites on her website. There's little tags that say like Kylie's favorites, and I bought all of those. Oh my, this came broken. We're still gonna use it and test it out, but that quality control for the billion dollar brand is not good. I am gonna be emailing customer service. That aside, as you can see, it has Kylie scribbled all over it. This is prettier. I like that this has something on it. It's not just flat. Let's try this out. Usually I don't put highlighter on the face anymore just because I find that that's like so not 2021. It can accentuate texture, but we're gonna just try out the formula. That is really upsetting that it's broken. Why is it broken? Like, yes, things like this happened and it's not just this brand. Most brands have quality control issues, but okay. On the face, that is beautiful. It's not a blinding highlighter. It is a little natural, which I kind of like. I feel like she's smart with this. She could have just boosted that pigment, but nowadays I feel like people are using less and less of that. There's a tiny bit of a white cast, which is basically when I look straight forward, you can still kind of see it. But when I turn to the side, it's really pretty. Now let me put it where I actually do use highlighter and that is on my eyes. So I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. Now it's like blinding. And then, oh, oh my God. I don't know what's going on, but with this brush, it's like super concentrated. But then again, it came literally broken. And this highlighter retails for $24, which is $6 more than the bronzer um, and the blush. It is made in Italy, which a lot of beautiful like baked highlighters are made there. The formula, maybe it's pressed too hard. Maybe it was just this one. We're gonna have to see as other people post reviews, but that was a little weird. 
Now I'm gonna zoom you guys back in and we're gonna talk about the infamous Kylie lip kits. This one is in the shade Kylie. This is gonna be really, really fun because here I have the new formula. First of all, I am obsessed with this packaging. I like it way more than the old one. It is so beautiful. It is that pink and it has the drips and the liner's a little bland. Maybe they could have put the drips there. Um, it looks exactly the same as the eyeliner. Just the shade is different and it is a little longer. Let's open it. This obviously can be sharpened. It's not a twist. Here you can see the old and the new. The new is obviously way prettier and the formula is supposed to be better. And then here is the old lip liner compared to the new. Obviously my old one is really, really little. I do like the pink way more. It matches the brand better. I don't know if I should do half and half, the old and the new. I feel like that could be fun. Let's try that out. On this side, I'm gonna put the old one. That looks crazy. Okay, let's try out this side with the new lip kit. The shade's a little different. It's a little more brown. It seems like it has a little bit less of a pink undertone. You can even see that on camera. Do you see how much warmer the old one is? The formula is way creamier. The other one went on easy. This one went on like 10 times easier. This is crazy. You literally do one line and it's on. Now let's put on both lipsticks. First going on with the old. Now let's try the new one. The smell is definitely different. Wait. Yeah, her old ones had this really strong vanilla smell that kind of bothered me, so I'm glad. That is different. Now it just smells like makeup. The shade is completely different. That is interesting. I didn't think she was going to change the shades. Overall, I do like the new shade better. It looks a little smoother. It feels a little lighter. And yeah, when I push my lips together, it's crazy. It does feel a lot lighter. Let me like drink a couple sips of water, pretending like I spilt it on my lips. I'm going to kiss my hand, tap off of the towel. They're both pretty much still on. Like, honestly, I kind of want to put just the new one on, so I'm going to take this off, come back with just the new one, because I know that the old one isn't super, super long-lasting, so I just want to know how the new one feels on my lips, because the old one did feel a little heavy, and the half and half is confusing my brain. It went on, so it, I almost was thinking in my head, I was like, oh, is it like less pigmented, because it's going on so easy, but one swipe gets it done, but it just feels way, way lighter, which is really, really crazy. Now, finally, let's do the lip gloss. I have two shades here. One of them is in the shade Diva, which is a pinky nude. Again, the packaging is beautiful. And I forgot to mention, the lip kit retails for $28, and then the lip gloss retails for $16. And then I also have the clear shade. Oh, I'm obsessed with this clear. I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. Let me put it on my hand. Okay, on the hand, that feels really hydrating. I'm gonna use the shade Diva on the lips because I feel like it's gonna match. Wait, is this the shade I have? <gasps> that is, I have the old one. I Let's do this too. I'm gonna put the new one on the bottom. Here's the old one, packaging comparison. Obviously the new one is prettier with the little drips. I didn't like this. The old gloss, I didn't love. It felt like too thick. Yeah, do you see that? It's too thick. It's too pigmented. I do not like the old one. The new one seems like it has a little bit less pigment. On the lip, it looks nice. It's not separating. The old one, I hate. Okay, the new lip gloss, I will be finding myself using this more. Going in the kit, I absolutely love her. She is so pretty. And the clear one, also I'm guessing the formula is really similar. It feels nice on the hands. Don't wanna put it on the lips just to not ruin it. Okay, right before concluding the video, let's talk about the eyeliner. There's a little bit under here, but I find that that's inevitable just because it is in your waterline. There's no way that that's not gonna happen, but it is a lot less than a lot of products. It's still really, really light down here. It's still really pigmented up there. So I think after talking about the eyeliner, that concludes my Kylie Cosmetics relaunch review. Overall, I do like the products. Um, they're not horribly expensive, but they're obviously still not drugstore prices. It's a pretty good price for Kylie Jenner. You're obviously paying a lot for the name. You can probably find products like this. You're paying for the packaging. It is pretty, pretty sturdy packaging. It's cute. Overall, the eyeliner I like. I'm gonna keep using this. The brow product, I don't think I'm gonna use a lot. The highlighter thing, I don't know if that's just my thing. Maybe the lighter shade I'd use more, but I don't even carve out my brows a lot, so it just doesn't really make sense. But if you do like that kind of thing, it was really convenient. The formula is nice. The lips, I loved everything. I like the new lip kit a lot more. I like the new gloss, like 40 times more. The new gloss to me is probably the thing that like the formula changed most. The bronzer, love, gonna keep using her forever. The blushes, it's my favorite blushes, like even before. Now it's even better, it's creamier. The shades are so beautiful. The highlighter, I do like the formula a lot. It looks pretty on the eye, it looks pretty on the face. I'm not a person to put highlighter on my face, so that's just not for me. 
So I think that concludes the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my first review on my channel, so don't mind me if I'm a little off. But overall, Kylie Cosmetics does get a thumbs up. I'm feeling beautiful. Funnily enough, I have to take this off because I have people arriving at my house for a pool party in less than 20 minutes. And that's basically it. If you guys did like this video, please make sure you are subscribed down below. Have my notification bell turned on so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really does help. And make sure you're following me on all my social media. It is at I'm Lucas Pedroso on literally everything. DM me on Instagram. If if you have any more questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any more questions, I am more than happy to reply to you guys. And that's it for the video. I really do have to go take this off. So, <laughs> goodbye.